Welcome back, space exploration artists. We just read the book, Luna, Lucy, and the Planets. Today, we're gonna be making a super fun project called Marble Planets. We're gonna be using shaving cream, acrylic paint, and lots of fun stuff, so let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to make your three planets. Now, in the project that I looked at, the direction said for you to get pie plans um, or pie plates instead of these paper plates, which if you don't have that at home, these work just as fine, just some kind of semi-flat surface that you can put your planets on when you go to marbleize them. So I am just hand drawing my circles. You could do um, trace something in your household that is seems maybe um, circular. This is from the last project that we did. So I'll freehand one and I will trace another. I think I can finish that off there. And then for my last one, I'm gonna make a medium size. So large, medium, and then small. And so, if it's not perfect, that's okay. What you're gonna do after you get your three circles is cut them out. Once you get your planets complete, you should have three planets. You can make them any size that you want. And if the perfection of the circle bothers you, no problem, you could just trim it down to make it perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna set these aside. And using my plate, I am going to, and this will be super fun, I am going to fill this with shaving cream. So I'm gonna take the top off, shake it up really good, and then put my shaving cream on. Okay. Once you have a little bit on, you can take a spoon and just spread it around your plate. Okay, you want it to kind of be flat because you are gonna be pressing your paper into this. So I'm making it pretty much as flat as I can. And I'm gonna set this aside and do the next one. So once you get this part, now it's kind of the fun part. You can select the colors that you want with the acrylic paint. So for my big planet, my favorite colors are this really cool kind of teal turquoise. And I'm just gonna kinda go in a zigzag here. And I'm also gonna do pink and turquoise here and then turquoise and red here. Yeah, and then one more. So once you have all three of your colors, <clears throat> you can begin by swirling them. So you wanna go in a marble effect, so just kind of gently push. And you can also do just different things, try it. Do kind of a marble here and then I may take the other side and just see what happens whenever I use kind of a different approach which actually looks pretty cool and let me keep that one like that and then I'm gonna take a fork for this next one and kind of do some Cool stripey patterns. All 
right. So now that you have your colors, now you can grab your planets. And this might seem a little messy at first. So I'm going to actually take a paper plate that I had down here for each one. So we need six paper plates after all just to let those dry. And one here. And so for my biggest planet, I'm going to put it in this. Push down a little bit and let that soak into the paper just for a moment. Once I push that down and I can kind of feel there's air bubbles out of that. The next thing I can do is take my middle planet, same thing, push down. Just like that. And then finally my smallest planet. So that just looks like ketchup and mustard. Gonna push that down. Okay, so while these are semi soaking, I'm gonna set them aside so I have more space to show you here. You're going to peel this off, which looks super cool. Then I'm going to lay it on the paper plate and using your card, you're just going to kind of scrape this off. It will get just a little bit messy. So take your scraper, you can use like a gift card or whatever, and you're gonna pull towards yourself. Notice when you do this, you're gonna get some kind of stuff. You can just scrape this back onto the plate. Again, it's gonna be a little messy, that's okay. And then same thing on both sides, you're just going to pull towards you. This is my favorite combination of colors. This looks so great. I love these colors together. So again, take it and just scrape until you get that all the way off at the bottom. If you notice that you have extra shaving cream kind of on the side, like right here, you can just scrape right back over that. So I'm going to take my scraper again and just pull it. I actually think the paper plates work better than a pie pan because they're a little more flexible. So I'm going to take this and set it aside to dry for a few moments. And now I can do the next one. I'm going to choose my middle one. And I'm going to get this kind of messiness out of the way. Okay. Again, I'm just going to lift this up. Ooh, this one's gonna look really good too. So then I can put this down. Be careful. <laughs> it's gonna get messy. There's a white space right there, so that'll be a good spot for my thumb. Take it and pull. This looks so awesome. I love this. And then take your paper plate. Just kind of scrape that off a little bit. I'm missing some parts up here, so I'm just gonna pull some of that color down. So neat, I love that, look how beautiful. Okay, and for my final one, put that to the side. My little hot dog planet, what I'll call here. So just grab it, pull up, push that to the side, and scrape. Wow, that actually looks really cool. I love this. Okay, there's a little bit of maybe blue on the side. I'm just going to see if I can scrape that off, and it did. That looks incredible. I love it. Okay, so once you're finally finished, you can put everything aside. If you have black paper to mat this on, this would be really cool on that black paper. You could even do some of the um, flakes that we did in our other video with the Galaxy handprint. And you could do the white kind of flaky <laughs> splatters to make it kind of look like stars. This is super neat. I am extremely happy with this. It says, I think my favorite 
project so far um, of the three that we have already filmed. So enjoy. I will post a picture of it matted on Blackboard. See you next time. The 2021 Summer Space Exploration Kids Art Camp is brought to you by the Monroe Area Council for the Arts and supported by the East Tennessee Foundation and the Grubb Sumner Grant. Thank you.